My name is Nico, but my friends call me Coco, after the famous French woman Coco Chanel. What if butterflies cry? But you never know why. What if something's like steel? Would you like to dance? Who do you like better? Tian Tian? Or Ma? I don't know. They're different. Today I watched... Uh, my movie, and I feel kind of emotionally kind of moved by. It's silly, right? I'm 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 in a movie, but it's really really when I'm objective. It's really really moving and beautifully honest movie. It just touches you. Mm -hmm. It's kind of always rare to see that people they play in the movie, but then they have to wait a couple of weeks, sometimes months, to see their own entire movie, and then it touches you like that. Not a couple of weeks, you know, at least sometimes a year. And you're lucky you see it in six months, you know. It's like a long time. Um, for me, like, I, I, I have no problem watching myself. And the first time, I don't like it. Like, first time I, I did the Red Corner, I was a leading role with Richard Gere. After that movie, I literally want to hide beneath the table or chair. I want to disappear. And pe people keep telling me, everybody's saying how good I am. I say, no, 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 you're, you're just trying to be nice. I, was I want to hide. So only after that, so after a time when by second time I watch it, I can be objective. After that, I'm, I have no problem. I can criticize myself. I know what is good or bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty uh, distant from myself. Well, I only saw the trailer so far, and I'm pretty excited. I'm looking forward to see the movie, actually. Oh, it's very good and very sensitive, romantic, and very... Uh, of course, a lot of sex in it, but it's in a very right, beautiful way. It's like, um, I don't know why I say the, the whole arc of the character. I understand her. I feel for her. I feel the madness in her head and the reality and the real life. Why those things happen in her life? Why happen in any of our lives? It's a coincidence. And there must be some reason. And basically, we can all find ourselves in her. It's really, really truthful. And I think... Um, you know, like the Roma Film Festival, they, they want to choose our film there, and she was moved by, my friend was moved by, and I feel my, my, my face was burning, I don't know why, I feel that, that uh, uh, gets to my heart. It's kind of funny to, to look at it, the way that this is a global movie, it's being shot in Shanghai. You're from, you're living in Los Angeles right now, and then you have a German director from Europe. That's quite a crowd. I think it's, uh, it's uh, actually in the future world, it's like we're all one country. Um, actually, if I have any power to do anything, I want to have all the country just diminished. Only one, then we're all brothers, sisters, and the world will be so much more beautiful, peaceful, because all the boundaries um, ownership, violence, and war is going to be disappeared. You know, people fighting for their territory. It's for us to share the universe. So I think in this production, that's why I ask people to see the movie, because it's across the culture. East and West, it's not about culture anymore. It's not about female or male anymore. It's about a universe story, about love, about a mystery of life, about emotions, about the meaning of life. How does it feel living in Los Angeles that the Western culture and going back to Asia, how can you compare those two? Yeah, I think naturally I'm just a free spirit. That's why I'm running around in the world. Um, I think the difference is, like uh, in Asian culture, the old tradition is a group culture. Like, you see the painters or music, there's no name. You remember the song, the melody, you remember the, what it's painting is, but you don't know who did it. But in West culture, even like English, for example, I went to there, I go there, I will go, always I first. You know, and the culture's individuality, individual first. It's like I did this, but the good thing about things individual, they encourage you to give your gift. But other things make you to um, 
Sometimes you forgot who you are, and you forgot to be humble because the universe is so much more powerful, so much more wise, so intelligent than who we are. But in Orient culture, but sometimes you become too humble, then you don't you don't realize you have a talent. You just become like a drifting around, like become anybody else, and you're free to show your intelligence, free to show your sexuality, you free to show your beauty. No, I feel like I'm in between sky and earth, always in the air, floating. Sometimes I feel like I'm not even existing. I feel like a, I'm a tool, like by um, the universe used me as a tool to, to express something as a channel. I feel like a more, if I describe myself, like a fire, wind and air. If there would be like one dream you would like to see come true in the future for yourself, which one would that be? I think, I don't know, I, I think I'll win Academy Award, just the talent I have. I think I'm already winning, just to people or myself have to find out. And it, that's nothing to be surprised, just the talent uh, somebody gave to me or asked me to give. And also, uh, I'm, I'm writing, I have this book come out. I feel like uh, probably one day I'll win Nobel Prize. You know, that's something just for a little girl, it's a dream, like a star in the sky. Say, okay, that's something that's fun to reach there, to see what's like. You know, and those are just specific uh, people can know what's the dream like. But it's the journey is more important for me to get there, to have this dream that like you wake up. Maybe there's a sunlight. They're like a star or sunlight to me. Mm. Okay. May I wish you all the luck in that? Thank you.